Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, President Biden in his first campaign speech. We want to get right to the panel, bring in civil rights attorney Leo Terrell, constitutional law attorney and GW law professor Jonathan Turley, both Fox News contributors, and Felipe Reines uh, joining us, former deputy assistant secretary of state uh, in the Clinton administration. Good to have all of you with us. Um, Jonathan, let me go to you. Uh, this was a, it was a strongly delivered speech, probably the most strongly delivered speech that we've heard from this president in quite some time. Uh, your thoughts on the content of it and the argument that he makes here. Well, it was a very powerful speech, and I certainly agree with the lessons that he raised about George Washington. I have more question about whether he's following those lessons. He lost me in the specifics. You know, he talks about democracy being on the ballot. But the ballot isn't very democratic. His own party is trying to strip ballots of Donald Trump's name to prevent people who want to vote for what appears to be the leading candidate for the presidency from doing that. So when he's talking about the freedom to vote and have your vote count, his party's actively trying to prevent that. And, the, and saying that, really, you're not just voting for me. Just think you're voting for democracy. For those people, they, they feel like, well, if we vote for you, do we to get democracy back next time? I mean, are we going to have the, all of the candidates on that ballot? I don't think that effort will succeed. But it's also worth noting, when he talks about the freedom of speech, the Biden administration, I've written before, is the most anti-free speech administration since the administration of John Adams. I mean, his administration has carried out what a federal court called an Orwellian a uh, censorship program with the help of social media companies. So part of the speech was, in fact, uplifting. Uh, but then when you got down to the details, it seemed rather conflicting for this president. So, Philippe, um, you know, he talked about how he w he's president to all Americans, which is certainly what he said when he ran and certainly what he said in the inaugural. But based on the polling that we see, it's not how a lot of Americans feel. He went a few times after what he calls MAGA Americans, uh, scowling at that entire group of people who make up, um, you know, I mean, I don't know if MAGA Americans make up half the country, but you've got a lot of people who don't support this president in that. Took a couple pot shots at this network, which more people in America watch than any other network in the country. Uh, so I don't know if they feel like that represents someone who is president to all of America. So in those sections, not a terribly unifying or reaching out speech here, Philippe. What do you think? Well, I would say first, Jonathan, it's not the Democratic Party that's trying to take his name off of any ballots. It's the individual secretaries of state, whether they're Republican or otherwise, and those courts have been dealing with. That is not a party issue. But, Martha, to your question, look, I think President Biden and, frankly, all of us are just very frustrated by the fact that there seems to be a subset of the Republican Party that can't be spoken to, that no matter what he says, no matter what anyone says, they just believe he's not legitimate. They believe that the election was stolen. They believe all these things that are simply not true. And that is very frustrating. I think he wants to do exactly what he's saying, which is get up every day and serve the country, even the people who didn't vote him, even the people that don't like him. But boy, is that being made near impossible. Well, uh, lots of people heard from Hillary Clinton that that was an illegitimate election that sunk into their uh, under their skin in a big way as well. We've seen a lot of divisiveness here. I got about 20 she, seconds, Leo. I'm sorry, but I got to get Leo, give Leo an opportunity here before we're about to go. Leo. Uh, thank you very much. First of all, he did not talk about his record for the last three years. And I want to correct Philippe for one second. In Maine, that was a Democratic <laughs> secretary of state. And also in Colorado, that was a Democratic Supreme Court that tried to take President Trump's name off the ballot. So let's be very clear. This is all about and politics. And what about Michigan? The what about Michigan? Justice. Well, I mean, I mean, you didn't answer that. You said Maine. Maine is a Democratic Secretary of State, and the Colorado Supreme Court. Leo, is all what Democrat. about Michigan? Those are facts. All right, guys. Leo, we're going to pick up this conversation. <laughs> uh, these are moving through the courts. We'll talk about them next time. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.